read with us all week long in our programs listed on our cflibguides.lonestar.edu page. Remember to like and share these videos. Now on with the show. Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Missy with Lone Star College Sci Fair in Harris County Public Library. And I am back with my son, Zach. And we are back for another book chat. book chat. And today's story we are talking about, Zach, why don't you tell us? You know how you love those red wiener things? Oh yeah, the hot dog. <laughs> yes. So we are gonna we're talking about today the book Hot Dog by Ando. And so, um, did you want me to tell what the story is about? Yes. Okay. So this story is about um, three, three, our three main characters. We've got Hot Dog, which is Hot Dog. And we've got Lizzie, who is a lizard. lizard. And then we have Kevin, which is a cat. And then, of course, then we've got um, A a baby chick, whom we find out later. His name was, do you remember? No. Winston. All right, so we've got our main characters, and then we have um, whom kind of whom the story is about. So a baby chick falls from a tree, and then our three main characters are trying to trying desperately to find its mom and return it to its home. But they have some um, problems along the way, and it takes the whole story to be able to um, potentially find the mom of uh, the mama bird. All right, so. It's it's a silly story. Um, it I hope was, you read it. We definitely hope that you read it. We thought that it was it was silly. It had as lots and lots of pictures throughout, um, and like they're comic. they're very silly. They're very silly pictures. The illustrator um, is uh, Dan McGinnis, and he's a very good illustrator. It was a very good. Um, it, it was a very cute chapter book. All right, so Zach, I've got some qu- quick questions for you. So if you read this book, I want you guys to start thinking, what is the most ridiculous thing from the story? What was the one of the most ridiculous things from the story? Probably that animals could talk and have names. Okay, so the animals can talk. Okay, so he thinks the most ridiculous thing is that animals can talk. I think one of the most ridiculous things is, is that Lizzie, who's a lizard, um, is afraid of heights and she gets sick from even wearing high heels. I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I thought, it, but it was also very silly and it was very fitting for this type of story that, um, that something silly and ridiculous would be the, be the case. Like they, they couldn't do something because of something that they normally should do, be able to do like a, a lizard should be able to climb up a wall and wouldn't get sick from climbing a tree or whatever. But in this book, it does. So um, it poses its own challenges. Okay, so Zach, um, what was your favorite part of the book? Do you remember? Hmm. When I first um, met the baby chick. When you first met the baby chick? It was cute. It is a very cute part. Um, the, the chick falls from a tree and... Um, pretty much knocks out Kevin, um, who is dressed like a cow. Another ridiculous thing. I don't know too many cats that like getting dressed up. Do you know any cats that like getting dressed up? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, so of course, Lizzie, um, she kind of holds the baby chick up almost, um, like, hi. yes, like very, uh, high up, just like they did with Simba in the Lion King. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like they're, Showing the world that here we've got a baby chick. Um, they have a baby chick. <laughs> it was it was very mom. it was very silly. So um, I've got another question for you. So whom did you like the best in this book? Did you like our main character, Hot Dog, Hot Dog. Lizzie, or Kevin? Which who did you like the best? Hot Dog, and also remember hmm, to. Um, answer this question at home okay so who yes don't forget you can um if you read this book i definitely want you to think about these questions and answer them too you can play this back and you can answer these questions with me so who is your favorite character zach hot dog hot dog do you have a reason why you liked hot dog because she's red and he wears a superman cape he's red and he wears a superman cape well i will agree i liked hot dog um the my main reason why i liked hot dog is um 
Hot Dog has some challenges. Do you, do you remember what his challenges are? No. Well, he's really long. Oh, yeah. And he has really short legs, right? So he's got shorter legs. So it makes it hard for him to tie shoes. It makes him hard to play guitar because he can't lift his arms all the way out to, to do all that, right? So he's got some challenges. But one thing I liked about him the most was, do you remember what he doesn't do? He doesn't. No. He doesn't give up. Oh. He keeps trying, and I do like that. So do you think that you're kind of like Hot Dog? You don't give up? Yeah. Yeah. All never, right. <laughs> never give up on Slime Rancher. Oh, yes. So, um, so yes, down, he, I like the fact that, um, that Hot Dog doesn't give up, and he keeps trying until, um, until he figures something out, even if he has to modify the way he would do it. Instead of holding a guitar this way, right? He's going to he's going to hold it more like it's a, a bass. like a cello or, or a bass. Uh, yeah, so he'd be holding it up and down so he could use it this way. Okay. So, let's see here. Um ooh, Is that all the questions? No. No, we've got two more questions. Two more. Okay. So, what book did this does this did this book remind you of any other books that we've read? Hmm. And if you're if you're th answering this and you've read it, did it remind you of any books that you've read? It reminds me of Real Pigeons Fight Crime. It reminds you of Real Pigeons Fight Crime. It kind of yeah. it kind of answers like a mystery and does certain things, right? Mm -hmm. It reminded me more of Bad Guys, which oh. I would say Bad Guys reminded me like what. When I would read uh, Real Pigeons, it reminded me of Bad Guys. So a lot of things go back to, I. it reminds me of Bad Guys by Aaron Blaby. So, um, so yes, I thought that this, like the really silly characters and how they do silly things just reminds me of Bad Guys and how all those characters are silly and they have all kinds of problems. And they sometimes they don't solve the problems the way you think they will. Um, so it was, it was really good. So. Zach, last question. Well, oh, no. last question is, would you read more of these books? If they come out with more of this book, Hot Dog, with um, more adventures, will you read more? Yes, if they came out with a new series. So if they come out with more in this series? Okay, I, from what I hear, it's like there's going to be more of this kind of come out. So... Um, so you'll want to start reading this book. <laughs> start reading this book now. Okay, so now it's to the part where Zach and I are going to rate this book. Obviously, you can tell that I like the book, and I think that Zach liked the book. So let's see what we rated it. Are you ready, Zach? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Why did you give it this face? Because I didn't know there was going to be talking animals. Because you didn't know there was going to be talking animals. Most of our books have a lot of talking animals. Why did you give it a pizza? Because dogs eat pizza. Dogs eat pizza, <laughs> I guess. All right, I gave it silly because there's a lot of silly things that happen in this book. Yeah, and right. so you really should um, you should give this a try. All right. See if I can make the silly face. Show me your silly face. Okay, well. Show me it. Show it. Do it. <laughs> All right. So... Boys and girls, we hope that you, um, you're going to give uh, Hot Dog by Ando a try, and um, we are so happy that you joined us again. And uh, as always, we want to tell you, happy, happy reading. reading! And, and also read this book a thousand million times. Yes. And don't forget to like and share our videos. Okay, until next, uh, until next time later this month, we're going to do our uh, April Poetry Month uh, book. So, Zach, are you ready for our Poetry Month one? Yes. Yes. So we're going to do that one in uh, two weeks. So we'll see you in two weeks. All right. Until then. Bye, guys. Bye. Read. <laughs> yes, read.